with everything I do, it's always a different shape, it's always a different size. So this is kind of a, a quick way to make, you know, a quick way to make them. Now when you make the custom stuff, you make it so you uh, so it's reusable? All this, when you make a lot of them sometimes, if you, mine I never, you can put a slight, a slight angle on them a little bit and you might be able to get them out. For the most part, they, they're hard. So one and done. Most of the times they're one and done. Like I said, you never, Right. Even if you get it out like this one, this one I've used a couple, well I've used twice, but, and that was because it was in the same house and they wanted the same size. But the chances of me ever using that one again for somebody are slim to none. Yeah, a little like bar sink. What I'll normally do is, you know, this one I'm going to need So what I'll do is, uh, this is usually my top part, so I'll, I'll usually cut everything out. Put the small ones back in. Mm -hmm. just pin nail them because if you screw them then you got to cover up the screws and when you go to when you go to demold it typically like I said you're you're usually breaking them apart and they pop out yeah. but if you got screws in there it's just going to be harder yeah. yeah Now, I normally work with MDF just because it's it's just easier to work with. You know, I know some guys that do they'll use you know, there's all different materials out there, but it just it's just quick and easier yeah. for me to work with. So this is my this is usually how I do it. I start with the, the basic box shape, and then, then how I build up the angles and everything. Now what I normally do is I'll I'll do half inches, half inch for like the box itself. And then to make the angles and stuff I'll do uh, I'll do quarter inch. What I do is I start with this is like like a five by five square. So I'll start with a five by five, and then I do a four by four.
on does everything get lined, lined up? Yeah, yeah, do the line just so I'm... Uh, just so I know it's centered and somewhere where I need to be. At my shop, Oops. I Whoops. these angles are usually. I don't know. We'll see if it'll work on his. These angles tend to be too much for a for a chop saw. So usually at the at our shop, I have a track saw, so I'll just lay it down and, and cut them. Let me see what they are. You don't have now. Why I put this little, the, the little bit of a bigger piece down first is, is just to give me that slight angle, you know, to just give you that slight radius. Mm -hmm. So each of those pieces were half inch? Half inch, yeah. Half inch. DuPont used to make titanium dye. Now it went spin off, but we got too much of it at work uh, for white pigment. And been so tough just to go in there and scoop a little bit. Take out, a little bit. I could sweep enough off the floor to do, you know, last me forever. Yep. But once in a while, they'll do a bag check on the way out, and I yeah. get caught walking out with floor sweeping. Like, yeah. <laughs> What's he up to? Is They'd rather toss it than take it, right? Oh yeah. Yep. Now, Joe, if you don't mind me asking, look, I don't mind when you, when you, when you, you know, you get, you get a project that comes in, you, you say, I, I know what that's worth, and you sit down and really sit, just kind of figure out what it's going to take you the time, or you, I, do you just kind of feel it out by? aren't perfect like I did that on the jigsaw so they're not that great but you just fill them. <laughs> So if you're doing this for, for a client on a job, how long does it take you to build one of these plugs compared to what you buy it for? You know, we're talking about 400. I can, like this sink, this this plug, I can make in an hour, okay. you know, like yep. these. Yep. Uh, building it, an hour, you know, doing the coatings on it, you know, you put a couple coats of resin on it, mm -hmm. and then usually the next day I'll sand it down and wax it. Good to go? That's, yeah, yeah, it's good to go. So, you know, but, you know, the, the fiberglass ones, like I said, this is 
forty dollars in materials at the most, right? As opposed to most of those things start at two hundred plus, you know, yep. depending on the size. Yep. So even if you pay yourself a hundred bucks an hour, you're still under the cost of one of those things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it opens up your sinuses. Yeah, yeah. I've worked with Bondo so much, your yeah, stuff for so long, I don't even don't smell, smell it. it anymore. <laughs> 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 the smell is kind of your stuff. I walked in and smelled like red Loctite. <laughs> so, Joe, what did you I do in the special effects? Red Loctite? Yeah, I did uh, like, makeup effects. Does it really? <laughs> practical. Yeah. All practical stuff. When I first tried, when I first used the. Uh, uh, it's very. Dying industry now. Is it? I was like, oh man, it yeah, really well, everything's there. so CG. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's, it's like, still when I when I worked in the like, industry. Oh, man, it good. Like, yeah, the Walking was, Dead's keeping that alive. Yeah. Not really. No? Y'all yeah, seen guys putting uh, yeah. on the yeah. casting table, putting fiberglass dressing on the casting table. Oh, on the cast